Hey, what's up? This is Azrael Moyer, and today I want to um, teach on from John chapter 3, verses 16 through 17. All right, and it says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life. For God did not send his Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. So, I just want to encourage you this morning that no matter who you are, where you are, what situation you may be going through in your life, man, there's a God out. There's a God who is alive and well and who loves you so much. It says, John 3, 16 says, so God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. So God loves me. God loves you right where you are. You know, there's nothing that you can do to perform to reach God's love. Oh, there's no nothing that you can do, no sin that or that you can do to separate you from God's love. And this is what this message is about in John three sixteen and 17. It's that, you know, God will stop at nothing to have a relationship with you. God is just like anyone else, you know, in the world. He desires a relationship. And in the beginning, God created all mankind. The book of Genesis tells us that God created man in his image and in his likeness. So God created us, us all, no matter who we are. God created us. And in truth, we're God's offsprings. We're, we're God's children. And so God just desires a, a relationship with you. So I just want to encourage you today that God desires a relationship. God wants to know you on a better level and on a higher level. And he wants you to know him on a better and higher level so that you can know his goodness and his love for you and his plan for you because God has a great great plan for your life. God has made a plan and a purpose for everything that he created. The sun, the moon, the stars has a purpose and he created mankind and every individual with a unique purpose in mind. And I wanted to encourage you that in order to discover your purpose, your purpose is in Jesus. Let's look examine these scriptures a little further here and and see how we can see God's purpose for us in these scriptures. It says, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. So that's what that's what we do. That's what God did when he to show his love is that he gave when we were e when we were even enemies against God, not listening or paying attention to anything God has said. God loved us and he gave his only begotten son that whoever believes in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Man, one thing we have to consider as we go through each day that is that you know is that life is eternal life is not just you know this short span of years that we live here on earth but we have an we have a human beings are eternal and we can live out that eternity with God the Father in everlasting life through his son Jesus through believing in his son or there is a condom a place of condemnation for those who were rejected but you know what God's will is not that you would reject him, but God, that you, but that you would believe in him, and have eternal life. So eternal life, everlasting life, is God's life. It's God's will for your life, and it it is heaven coming to live on the inside of you when you receive Jesus, His Son. In verse seventeen, here it says, "For God did not send His Son into the world to condemn the world. So God didn't send Jesus in the world to die for." people to go to hell or for people to not to not know God but God sent Jesus to be the lamb of God to be the offering and sin sacrifice so that people could live and know who God is eternally to have an eternal home with God and an eternal relationship and connection with God through the Holy Spirit and it says here but that the world through him might be saved so I just want to bless you with that message today that, hey, no matter who you are, no matter where you are in the world, in your walk of life, God loves you. And God's love for you is, is so great. Man, God's love passes your understanding. Even if you didn't, if you even if you don't love yourself today, hey, you have a father in heaven that loves you, that wants you to know him completely. And I just pray for you and I just release the love of God over you. And I just declare, um, the name of Jesus over you and that you receive him today as your Lord and Savior, that you allow him to come into your heart. The Bible says, 
with the heart man believes and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. And whoever confesses the name of the Lord will be saved. And Jesus is Lord today. So I just want to encourage you. I pray this video has blessed you. And hey, y'all have an awesome, great day.